Alan's been nice enough to lend me his scooter again, so I'm doing a bit of commuting on it. So I thought I'd try and answer a couple more questions that you've left us on YouTube. One thing I have noticed with this particular shape of scooter is when it's damp and drizzly, a bit of fog on the tine, you stay quite dry whether that little screen or the shape of the front end pushes everything out to the edges. So your shoulders get it, your arms get it, but your core seems to stay in this little pocket of air. And then the other bit is your legs, if you keep them tucked in, that seems to miss it as well. And because I'm a bit of a bugger for not wearing my bike boots, I wear like waterproof walking trainers. They seem to miss it too, so they're hiding away on the footboards, tucked in nice and tight. And you do, you seem to keep your feet dry. Now, when you ride a motorbike and you're on the foot pegs, they just seem to stick out in the wind, so they get soaked. But these footboards just seem to help you stay dry. Another question you've asked is what's the ADV like with somebody taller than me on it? Well there's Alan, he's six foot and a bit tall. Uh, and as you can see there, he was quite comfy. Now, just in case you missed it, I've slowed it down. So here he comes around the corner again. And like I said, he's six foot and a bit tall. And look at that. Nice leg room, uh, back nice and straight. He says it's very comfy. You can do a lot of miles on his ADV. So there you go. Somebody six foot, it fits them well. One of the questions that have come up on the uh, previous ADV bit of content is it's miles per gallon and as you can see dead clear there 84.3 Sorry, maybe it's not that clear so I highlighted it there for you so you can see 84.3 One of the questions that have come up on YouTube is cruising speed. So we'll get it to 60. Now we'll go 60. So 60, 6,000 revs. Very happy. Like 60, that's no bother at all. So we'll get it up to 70. So there we go, 70. Just under 7,000 revs. Very happy, cruise along at 70, it's smooth. Screen's working very well, so now very happy at 70. I would say it will cruise at 70 all day long. And looking at that, it's still returning 84 miles to the gallon. ADV350, unlike its bigger brother, the XADV, does not have an extra light under the seat. So when you pop the seat, sadly, it's all down to you, no extra little lights helping you. Good thing about scooters, they're very easy to move around. You've got a nice good grand paddle here on this particular one and you've got your rear brake here. So you can push it forward and you've got good control of it. Makes them very easy to move around. Very easy indeed. And from this angle you can see how easy it is to move around. As I mentioned that grab handle is really good and you've got your rear brake up high so you've got total control so it doesn't run away.
and in a second I'll pop it off the main stand and you can see it's very easy to paddle backwards and forwards again that's down to the low center of gravity all the weights slung really low down and it's dead easy very very manageable this ADV 350 I think that's all the YouTube comments answered that were on the bottom of our previous ADV 350 bit of footage. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and you enjoy what I'm doing. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget the thumbs up. And see you on the next bit of content. Bye for now. Oh yes, one last thing. Always watch out for fools, cause they're everywhere trying to get you.